In this video, I'm gonna be talking all about the Junior Wooden Broadsword we have for sale at Enzo Martial Arts. I'm gonna be talking about all of its features, how it compares to the standard wooden broadsword we have for sale at Enzo. And at the end, I'm gonna to put together a short montage of people training with Chinese broadsword. Hi, my name is Doug Swift. I've been doing martial arts for the past 34 years and I've been the owner of Enzo Martial Arts for the past 17 years. If you're liking this video, click the little icon down below, subscribe to this channel and get all the latest videos on all of the products we have here for sale at Enzo Martial Arts. So let's get into this video and learn all about the Junior Wooden Broadsword we have for sale at Enzo Martial Arts. So it's been a few years now that I've been making videos for all of the products we have here for sale and the standard red broadsword was one of the first videos that I've made and we didn't even have the Junior Wooden Broadswords when I started doing the videos. It wasn't a product that we had in the shop and actually that's been the case for a few of the weapons here at Enzo Martial Arts. We just didn't have them in and as I've been making the videos we've got new products and new stock in and I've been able to make videos on these. But the Junior Wooden Broadsword is one of the last weapons that I actually haven't made a video on yet. So this is the video for one of the last weapons that we have at Enzo Martial Arts. In fact, the actual last weapon I've got to do is the Dragon Whip, which is the most horrendous weapon. It's like a chain whip thing. Absolutely crazy, so I'm gonna have to rope in a buddy of mine that knows how to use that so we can do a demonstration with it I'm not going anywhere near that, but out of all the actual sensible weapons This is the last one that I've got to do in this entire series Woohoo! But don't worry. There's still plenty to do I've got loads and loads of plans for this channel at Enzo Martial Arts So I've got loads more videos to make and loads of really fun ideas So if you want to be involved in that Subscribe to this channel and get all of those updates and you'll see exactly what I've got planned for the future. So like I said before, we'd never had junior broadswords in the shop before. It was something no one really had asked for, so we didn't really look around. There weren't really many available on the market, but you know, someone asked for them, we got them in and they've proved to be popular since then. And it's really, really good options for kids in Kung Fu because the standard wooden broadswords, like this one that I keep pointing to, are just too big and they're a little bit too heavy. So having a slightly shorter, lighter broadsword is really good for the kids to train with. Now, I'll say kids, and I don't mean to be mean about people that do like training with these, because there's plenty of quite short people or people that aren't that strong in Kung Fu that really like training with the junior broadswords. It's a really good option. Also, when people move on to the metal broadswords, it's really nice to have something shorter, and we do do junior broadswords in some of, some of the options that we've got here at Enzo. You know, if you're a little shorter, you're going to be constantly clanging the thing on the floor and like, you know, it's just too unwieldy, it's too much weight on the end for a lot of people. So, having that shorter length is a really, really good option. Now, if I compare the two together, you'll see it's, it's smaller in all proportions. So, the actual guard is smaller, the handle length is shorter and the end is noticeably shorter. And you wouldn't think it makes much difference, but it does really make a difference. Like, especially, almost certainly hitting the floor if people are doing spins and like swinging around for up cuts and down cuts and whatever, it's definitely clanging all over the floor. So, you know, just that extra length, it's really not good for broadswords to be hit on stuff. They're just not designed for that. Now, it does change from time to time, but really the makeup of the broadsword is three pieces. So you have you have the blade piece, the guard, and the handle. And, you know, they, they're glued together, they're pretty strong, but they are designed for solo practice. They're not designed to be hit against anything. So if you're constantly whacking against the floor, you are gonna break it over time, and that's just, you know, the, one, of, one of the, you could say downsides of the wooden broadsword, but it's just knowing what it's designed for and how to use it. So if you are someone that keeps clanging the thing on the floor, maybe have a look at the Junior Wooden Broadsword because it's just a better option for people. A little bit shorter, or if you've got really long arms, um, short legs, 
or if you're a kid, then yeah, this is definitely the sword for you. Now there are some Kung Fu styles that are very specific about what you use and like what lengths you use. Not a lot of the styles will get kids onto broadsword sort of early on, it tends to the weight for the teenagers and whatever. So you know, it's definitely worth checking with your instructor just to see if you're able to use one of these. There's a lot of other styles that are pretty like flexible, they don't really mind so much. And a lot of styles that want to get the kids onto weapons early because the kids absolutely love it. They love training with weapons. So doing forms with broadswords is a real highlight of their kind of martial arts training. So it's really nice to be able to have a weapon for them that they can get onto. Now, what styles are gonna be using these? Like, is there any anyone outside of Kung Fu? Well, maybe the, some of the Tai Chi styles do use broadswords. Not that many, but there are some out there that use it. But apart from that, it's pretty much going to be the Chinese Kung Fu styles. There are styles of Bagua, but you know, very few kids are doing doing that really. It's mainly going to be the Kung Fu styles. And broadswords are pretty widespread across a lot of the Kung Fu styles. Maybe not so in the South, like the Wing Chun styles, but pretty much everywhere else you will see broadswords popping up. So as long as there's a kid's class, the broadsword and the shorter broadsword is gonna be perfect for the shorter people, including kids. So why wood? What's the point of using wood? Well, there's loads of benefits to having uh, wooden weapons. One, it is softer than metal. It's also much cheaper. So if kids are whacking themselves with it, you know, accidentally, of course, not on purpose, it's, I mean, it's still gonna hurt. It's still gonna give you a knock, but not the same as metal. Some of the really flexible ones, even though they're not sharp, because it is such thin metal, you can still cut yourself with that. So again, having something wood, very, very dull edges, you know, there's no chance of you cutting yourself at all, which is, which is really, really brilliant. Especially if you've got parents that are worried about their kids training with weapons, something like a wooden weapon is a very, very safe option. Now, all of these broadswords, the, the standard length one and the junior one, are made out of red oak, which is a pretty standard wood. For a lot of martial arts weapons, a lot of bokkens, a lot of bow staffs, the sort of entry level wood that people use is red oak. It's very common, common uh, material for martial arts training weapons. So this is absolutely no exception. Very hard wearing, very tough. But again, like I said, just because of the build of the broadsword, it's not really gonna be designed for whacking against stuff. But it is very tough all the same, so it can kind of be knocked about a bit. And you know, if you're chucking it around, then it's gonna be able to take a knock. Now it still will dent, so if you do like whack on stuff, it is gonna dent a little bit, and you're gonna get little nicks on there and whatever. So just take it easy, try not to beat the thing up, and it will last forever. Now, one of the other really, really good benefits is it looks like a wooden sword. So it could just be effectively a kid's toy or a movie prop or anything like that. So lots of people will buy wooden swords when they wanna go and train outside. So they might train with metal ones at home or in the class, but when they're going out to the park to train, they take a wooden one because there's no risk of people calling the police and seeing someone waving an offensive weapon around in the park or anything like that. So again, if the kids wanna go and train outside and they wanna practice with their mates or they're meeting up for like a, a club outside or something like that, a wooden weapon is relatively inconspicuous. You know, it's not too different from them running around with sort of a pirate sword that they got from the toy shop or something like that. It doesn't look dangerous. Now, even though the metal swords aren't sharp that we sell, none of the broad swords we have here are sharp, they do look a bit scary. So if someone's a bit nervous, they're very likely to call the police. So, wooden weapons, very good for not getting into any trouble. So I just thought I'd give you a few dimensions of the junior wooden broadsword, just so you've got an idea of exactly what you're gonna get. Now the full length of it comes in around 73 centimeters. In terms of the blade length, around 54 centimeters, something like that. Now, if you compare that to the wooden broadsword, like I said before, it's noticeably shorter. Now, having a look at the weight, this weighs in at 300 grams. And again, if you compare it to the standard red oak broadsword, it's about 50 grams lighter. So not massive difference, but it is noticeably lighter than the standard one. 
Now I've already mentioned a few of the different weapons we have at Enzo Martial Arts but we do pride ourselves on having a pretty good selection of Chinese weapons at Enzo. So as well as the junior wooden broadsword we also have the flexible broadswords and the pretty rare nine ring broadsword, the very popular waxwood staffs, monkey poles, meteor hammers and fans. So as promised at the beginning of the video, here's a short montage of people training with Brussels. Thanks very much for watching, I hope it was useful, I hope you learnt loads about the junior wooden broadsword we have for sale at Enzo Martial Arts. If you like this video, click the little icon down below, subscribe to this channel and get all the latest videos and updates from Enzo Martial Arts. Thanks very much and I'll see you soon. Cheers!